Hey guys, Glitch here, and welcome to I'm Still Here. And oh. Ah, finally moving into my new place, a chance to start a new life. The landlord seemed a little weird about this place, but I don't have time to worry about that. I need to finish putting those books away. Oh, interesting. Okay, living room, living room, living room, all those are living room. Ah, books. That's a weird way to put books, but okay. Oh. Okay, so you have to, uh, be strategic about this. And then there's just me throwing them wherever I want. That's a lot of blue books, though. Seriously. Alright. There we go. Okay. Did not mean to do that, but sure. Oh. What the... What the heck? Why are my books moving? I need to figure out what's going on. I should ask the internet for help. Oh, yeah. Because apparently when something weird goes on in your house, you should ask... Wahoo! Uh... Why don't my parents want to talk to me? Oh my god. Why don't my books stay on my shelf? When I put my books on my shelf, they fall off. What, what does it, why does it do that? You should throw your books away. Reing is for nerds. Okay. Uh, how do I know if I'm being harmed? Haunted. How do I keep things from moving? My things are moving around. I can't I, I can't never find anything I need. Please help. You should probably declare your life and find a spot for everything you have. How do I know if I'm being haunted? What are symptoms of a haunting? Because I think I'm being haunted right now. Things move around on their own. Creepy voices. Lights don't work. Oh snap, I think I have ghosts. Yeah, um, I would think that too. Seriously, yeah, definitely ghost. Whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. I should ask the internet how to get rid of these. Oh, um, hold on, hold on. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Oh God. So apparently I had a random pop-up menu and I just had to fix that for a minute. Uh, I have. Some voodoo stuff going on. There's all these creepy sounds. My TV keeps changing channels. Sounds like when my grandma had spirits messing with her. If you can get their attention, you can ask them to stop. Okay, and how do I do that? Throw the book. Oh god, okay. Uh. Why don't the ghosts in my house like me? I just want to be their friend, but they are so mean to me. What do I do? You should try being an annoying jerk because they know how it feels. Okay, uh... How do I... Get rid of a ghost? Oh, God. Um... Do, do you mind? I started experiencing a haunting I wanted to stop. I read a book once that ghosts don't like if you mess with the light switch. Hmm, this sounds promising. I should flip my lights on and off to annoy the ghost. I, uh, I don't think that will work, but why not? Lights off, lights on, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Anything? Nope. Let's just keep, uh, flicking it. Cut that out, dude. Jeez. Who said that? Get out of my house. No way, this is my house. Stop being such a jerk. This is my house now. You must be dead. Oh wow, this is heavy. My spirit must be stuck here because my body still needs to be put to rest. That makes sense to me. Will you help Will you help find my body then? Sure, if it will get you to leave me alone. I'll find your body and put you to rest. Okay. So let's see. Uh... Oh, crap. 
Uh, how do I uh, delete my internet history? Okay, so that's not it. I have... Nope. Uh, nope. Okay, so I just have to find his body. How do I do that? Hey, that's me. You found me. Wait, you're a fish? So that's how I died. Wow, this is heavy. Well, can you help me move on so I can stop behind this place? I'll finally put you to rest, little buddy. And flush. So this whole time, he was just a fish. I'm free! Rest in peace, little buddy. I'll always remember you. You want to have a peaceful night and live comfortably in your new apartment, but you can never shake the memory of your little friend. You occasionally take a peek in the toilet and dream of finding them there again, but all you find is a bo in the bowl is emptiness. Occasionally there is a turd if you forgot to flush earlier. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. The end. That was actually really interesting, though I didn't expect the ghost to be a fish. The question is, how is that possible? If it was a fish, how was he picking up the books and throwing them around? And also, how was he talking to me if he was a fish? That was still really interesting, though. I kind of wish there was uh, more to it, though. But still, really good. But anyways, I'm going to win this here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.